Did you know I was gay back then? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I, I'm, okay, I'm going to say this. Well, I, I had a huge crush. I know. <laughs> oh, I know you did. I I'm making it happen. I'm like a centipede. Next week, you ain't draining my energy. Killing my soul, they seem like the enemy. guys to the brown bro podcast as promised last week we do have a special guest here we have the one and the only the date night chef michelle herself Hello. go ahead and give us a little introduction girl well yes like he said i am the date night chef um i have been doing this for a while but i love to cook i love to challenge myself with different cuisines ooh, ooh. um you can find me on the facebook instagram the date night chef. Just look me up. We gonna look. You. We gonna have it on. <laughs> we gonna video. put the handle in there so you can follow her. She does specialize in one on one dates. If you want catering, if you just want a solo meal, and you don't not used to eating or cooking like me, should get you together real quick. Yes. Do so, you do meal preps? Yes. Oh, you do. Okay. okay. What's up? That. So good. Then. That's good. That's a service that. So uh, there we go. A person like me would need. Who's you? Know, a lot of people. Because to, to your point, a lot of people is just working, 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 going nonstop. Me. Um, <laughs> partying, brunching, all the other things. And needs to eat like yeah. vegetables because yeah, because right. you know I'm getting up in age. Speaking of age, we've <laughs> known each other for a very, very long time. Where I've known <laughs> Shell since 2000 and what? Ooh. Six, seven. That had to be 2006. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right before I graduated high school. No so school. you want to tell the people how we know each other? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get into that. <laughs> we'll but get into that later. So how? basically, she's preparing for us a special dish right now. So if you want to go ahead and get into it, and you just do your big one. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna do. Of course, you know the holidays are coming up. Yes. So I wanted to get people in the sweet treat type of mood. Sweet so treat. we're gonna do some Yum. peach cobbler, old fashioned Ooh. peach cobbler. Ooh. Everybody love peach. Cobbler. I feel it in my thighs already. <laughs> <laughs> so of course we start out with our peaches. And you have, I like to slice peaches. A lot of people like to get the peaches themselves and do all the extra stuff. This is a very quick and simple thing. If uh -huh. you don't have a lot of desserts at home, mm -hmm. you can do these for um, Thanksgiving mm -hmm. or even Christmas. Okay. So you have your sliced peaches. Um, in this bowl here, I do have all of the seasonings together. <laughs> Nutmeg, that's important. Oh. Nutmeg. Um, as well as vanilla flavoring. It was recording. It was recording. Vanilla flavoring. Uh -huh. um, some people like to have different types of flavoring, like coconut, stuff like that. Okay. I like coconut. Vanilla. Uh -huh. Vanilla, okay. <laughs> and we have our, um, I like to use these rolled crusts, roll them out, put them on things. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I don't either. And I oh. say that a lot because. I only make three desserts: peach cobbler, sweet potato pie, and pound cake. Oh, I know that peach. Ooh. No, <laughs> pound I know cake. the pound cake and that sweet potato pie probably be. It's hitting. all good. So good. I know it's all so good. Like so oh, you know, brownies. Brownies. So yeah, brownies. bring all that over. Mike. Bring all that to me, please. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is basically just start out the peach cobbler. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, I use these pre-rolled things, so I just have my little aluminum pan. Okay. And I just simply put it on the bottom. You'll have to make sure that this one here is browned first. So I do put oh, this in the oven ooh, look at for it. about 10 to 15 minutes. Don't okay. let it get too brown. Okay. Because then it's going to be done and then it's not going to be good. Okay. 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 It's going to be like crisp. Yeah. You don't want to have like, you know, you want it to be close. consistent. Right. Exactly. Correct. You know, Correct. Exactly. Uh -huh. So you put this on here first. Is it going to act right with me? <laughs> Um, as you're doing that, as this one's going to be browning in the, oven, in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, I like to put the oven on about 350. Okay. Um, I think every, let me every put black person <laughs> put the oven on 350. Because we want to make sure it's cooked. 350 is my friend. Okay? Right, right. So I put that in the oven to brown. And uh -huh. what I do, I do not like to cook my peaches in the pot. Mm -hmm. I just simply put the juice in there. Oh, okay. Put the juice in there. Let the juice do its thing. I make sure that I get all the juice out uh -huh. as much as I can. Once I do that, then of course I add all of my sweet stuff. Okay. Just add all of that in there. Is this where um the 
the van- the extract is and all that is in here? No, the extract is not in here. Okay. I, I don't like to do that too much because then if you have too much vanilla in it, it's yeah. going to be just not. Okay, vanilla. okay. It's exactly. not going to be peach cobbler. It's going to be vanilla, vanilla cobbler. cobbler. <laughs> you don't want no vanilla cobbler. So as I mentioned, just keep, you know, let that cook in let there. Let that simmer a little bit. Let that simmer in there. And okay. then I go ahead and add some of the <laughs> vanilla flavoring. Yes. Do okay. Do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and after that, I, of course, top it. With top it, y'all. With my the, peaches, I add my peaches in here. Ooh. After this is browned, of course. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then once this is done, I just simply put the filling. This is the filling for the peach uh, cobbler. Okay. Put that right on in there. Ooh. Ooh. What you doing for Thanksgiving again? Oh, you got kids. You got your own family, child. Okay, never I mind. Do have one daughter. Okay. okay. So, let me clear that up. Not kids. Shout out. To, what's kids. your baby's name? Let's shout her out because I know she's gonna like watch this. For my Floridian. Okay. Wait, what's your baby's name? Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Oh Hi, girl. Aaliyah. Yeah. Aaliyah's on Facetime in the back, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. What she say? What did she say? Sorry, you mom. Sorry, mom. I she can't. Off mute. Oh, you so cute. <laughs> oh, how you do that? You know. can type on the screen. Oh, oh, she's eight old. years old. She know about it. We know. Oh wow! Oh, okay, cat daddy. <laughs> I'm yeah. screaming. I'm screaming. Those were our times. Ooh, that's Those the top layer. Today's over kids will never yeah. know what a we went of, through back then. Exactly. A lot mm-hmm. of people like crust on crust on crust. Okay. So I try to like double it up. Okay. Um, like especially my family members, they love the crust. Me too. Me too. So because I think that just brings a little bit extra element to it. Yeah, yeah. So once I do it like this, uh-huh. like so, like this, <laughs> like I so, just, like this, <laughs> I slice them right here. You know That's how you, how how you, you do, do it. Mm-hmm. It's very oh. simple. I don't use my fingers. Oh. I use my fingers. I was like, wait, that sounded that's be so that's perfect. Oh my God, it's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do this right here today. Yeah. <laughs> and then they do put a little bit I love it. of the sugar, the sugar on, on top. top. Okay. And mm, that's how it'll be looking so nice and brown. Yes, brown. it looks yeah. yes, so brown. brown and nice. So after, <laughs> of course, you do that. And it looks like this. We need to put it in the oven. Ooh. So I'm going to get, you know, what we can eat. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> It smells really good. Let me go ahead and say that it smells amazing, guys. It does. Like, all cinnamony, y'all could like smell, it smells like Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's giving holiday in here. Yeah, holiday girl. Holiday girl. Holiday holiday girl. Holiday girl. Holiday, holiday girl. <laughs> like Dexter's sweater. Please don't get flipped off right now. But anyway, guys, this this is legit. Like this I'm excited good. about this episode. I'm excited to eat this peach cobbler. I'm excited to get into some conversations that we need to get into. Cause how do you even know her? We're gonna get into how I know Sh- Shell here. We, like I said, we go way back, like four, four flats, four, four, four flats, flats. <laughs> on the first Cadillac that came out. Okay. Mm. It smells so. If y'all could smell it, oh my god. Oh Do my gosh, I love the brown. I should've, I should've brought a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Please, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I'm not a cook. Listen, the utensils gonna be utensiling for me, but you know, we're gonna, we gonna make this work. Okay. Well, at least you know I ain't changed. Ooh, I love yeah. how. I'm, okay. I'm still the same. That. Yeah. So, I don't know who wants the corner piece. Me. <laughs> I like the crust. But I will get same. The Give you a little small piece because I ain't gonna have y'all up here talking about me. Give me <laughs> <that piece. laughs> no, ma'am, no, sir. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm screaming. You are crazy. <laughs> I Please. Yeah, I just gave y'all a little bit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we get in the corner piece here with all I'll the extra. Yes. Piece. Oh. Okay. Put meat. some more of the peaches in here. Nah, Whatever. We got, left, we got enough for later, anyways. Yeah, yeah. Mind. There's for you. Thank you. Some little piece, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> like I said. Do I need this little piece? Like Can you hold this for me? Please? Yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can do so much. Like each other right now. Like yes. Okay. You know, this probably would go with some ice cream as well. Yes. That's oh. how oh you know. Oh, my God. You have to eat it with ice cream. Definitely is going to bring it out a little bit more. Yes, I bet. Wait, we need to wait together. together. (laughs) Yeah, what are you talking about? (laughs) Tell I'm such a man. Right, just don't look Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so yeah, so this is definitely something that your family will enjoy. (laughs) (laughs) 
It's very quick and simple. You can put it in the oven for about like 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, okay. It'll get to where you need it to be. Okay. <laughs> And let's go ahead and cheers. I'm trying to feed <laughs> trying to feed her the mic, y'all. Cheers. 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 Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Let's pause it. Do we are we eating it right no, now? No, we're gonna give up. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's do it. Let me hold the mic for you and me and everybody else. <laughs> Let me do this. I know what it tastes like. I'll hold it. Okay, double, okay. Double, double fifteen. Okay. Mm. <laughs> the aroma is aromatic. Mm. Mm, I smell the Peach. Okay. <laughs> I definitely can't wait. And you know what's crazy? I need to make sure I get it nice. And this is my first time having peach cobbler. Really? Mm-hmm. I've never had it before. Wow. Not Mr. George. No. <laughs> I didn't like Decent. like I didn't like peaches like that. Mm. But this is good. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. In the crust. In the well, cinnamon. we told the security guard that we were, oh yeah, we not be too loud. Yeah. Well, we told this our friend good. that we might have a slice for him, but I don't know about that. Hot. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> That, or that. That's how you know he's childish, child. Ooh. Just blow the thing, <laughs> girl. Shell, you did your big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you did your big one. What you mean? I should have got a bigger slice than this. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> we not God. No, you know how to cook. The family know how to cook. Everybody know how to cook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very true. Grandma, listen. Mm-hmm. I gotta see her. You need to buy me over one day. Because I have not seen anybody. They me. <laughs> I haven't seen your family in so long. I it's know. been at least since like. You're celebrating been... 25 years of our construction business. Oh, Ooh. congratulations. Yeah, so I was going to ask you about that. that. Mm-hmm. You want to plug that into? That's a black business, y'all. Yes. Okay. Um, J.L. It? Wilson Concrete. We okay. do flat work concrete. We do some residential, but mostly commercial. Love that for yeah, you. Family business. Great family family business. L, shout out to <laughs> black businesses, black entrepreneurs. Yeah. We love that. Um, we're all about the brown businesses on the Brown Bros podcast. Um, guys, we're going to take things to, to the next level. The table over there. We're going to shift over. Um, so that we can sit down, have a more dialed back conversation. And I'm going to eat some more. And this. eat some more peach cobbler. So I'll see you like in like it. two seconds. Left off. After we just indulged in such delicious desserts. And I'm it still was doing so it. so good. And he still <laughs> got a whole bowl for it over there. Sure Meanwhile, do. I tore mine up. Yeah. So basically, like I said, I told you guys, I've known Shell for a very long time. So we want to jump into how we actually know each other and how long has it, it really been? Really been. A long a time. A long time. Like a long time. It's been a while. Um <clears throat> Yeah. Well, we met at work. We met at work. We used to work at Old Navy. Yes. The best. The best Old Navy, Old Navy in the West, West Oaks, Oaks Mall, Mall. The y'all. Hood Mall. <laughs> I was screaming. And we was really running the stuff up Mall. in there. We was really running stuff in that we mall. Had everybody working with us. Though. We did, and we dressed like we was going to the club every, every t- day. <laughs> every <laughs> day. Every day. Yes. We came to work. We came to work together. fly. Ooh, we did not wear like, Old Navy when we came to work. Oh, for real? <laughs> what? We was wearing Kooji and Nietzsche. Throw them clothes. Throw them clothes so, up ooh. in the little bins at the top. Wait, the go backs? Yes. Like the stuff y'all supposed to be yeah. running back to? Oh, no. And sometimes they were well, <laughs> we used to stuff it in the fitting room yes. and leave it overnight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let the morning crew do uh, <laughs> Wow, y'all are so bad. Yeah, Retail yeah. nightmare is Retail what I Retail nightmare. What? Oh, my. Sold them cars, though. We did. Yeah, you used to get the cars. Oh, okay, okay. We had them cars. We had yeah, you used to get the The only <laughs> fees, is that what they call them? The only fees. Selling jeans. Selling jeans. Lying. Lying. <laughs> Credit shot knowing y'all ain't getting approved. Uh, <laughs> Credit it's okay. Me. You're still going to get a discount with a smile on my face. Right. Thank you for shopping at Old Navy. I'm screwed. But yeah, actually, I also took Rochelle to prom as well. Yes, he I did. I was her I prom was date. So happy okay. about prom. We had on purple. Uh, we did. Did you know I was gay back then? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I. I'm, okay, I'm going to say this. Well, I, I had a huge crush. I know. Oh. I know you did. I know. And I just, I don't know. I didn't care. <laughs> you was, like, was like, whatever. Hey. Whatever. Okay. If it work, it work. Uh, I mean, back then I was so in it. I was in girls back then. Girl so, I mean, I can see why I would, it would mm-hmm. give you that. I was in girls no, back then. No, he carried himself. It was just like, you know, I was just chill. That's what it is. I was like. real chill. And metro. Yeah. So, he was metrosexual. Very and metro. I, was a, I was a dude. But, no, but you... No, you was a though. But yeah, I dressed a, nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I had a like, you, you know, I ain't play. You was you sus. Hair, like, I was sus. sus. I had the waves. Oh, okay. Now, the waves was waving. <laughs> <laughs> the waves were waving. I had the waves. Sure. You know what I'm we saying? We got to show y'all the, the I'll pictures. I'll show y'all a picture of me from back then, like 2007, 2008 Ooh, era. Twink Renzo. I'll, 
twink, skinny, 135 pounds. <laughs> like almost 20 years ago. Oh my god. That's, what is it? 2024. Oh my next year. Oh yes, almost 20 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Oh, y'all was babies. We were, we were babies. <laughs> do you still talk to like anybody from? I do. I still talk to um. Jane. Jane. Okay, Jay yeah, Poe. Okay, my, my I actually saw him not too long ago. Yeah, that's my like. That's that's my. Dog. I've been knowing James actually since elementary school. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, let me go ahead and let me go. Ahead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, like, y'all look yeah, for lifers. Yeah, for lifers. Yeah. I, I, love that. That. I love that. So yeah, have to talk to sometimes James, y'all when, when you work with people, you end up being yeah. lifelong friends. Mm-hmm. That's the joke. You know thing. who I still communicate with from time to time? Shayna. I remember Shayna. Shayna. Just I still this. communicate with her from time to time on Instagram. Yeah, I remember Shayna. We went to school together also. Yeah. All of, like most of everyone who worked at Old Navy went, went to, to your school. yeah, went to her <laughs> school. Like everybody, that the whole school was at Okoye. Yeah, Okoye High come School. To the job, mm-hmm. like, hang out, didn't, like hang out for hours. For real? That didn't work there. No. Did. So where would they would hang out at? Oh, uh, like, they would just be hanging just out. There, just there. Just there. Someone those kind of friends. And here I was my job. Yeah, he was a whole. I was like, I think I was 20, 21. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm like 17. 17, 18, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, so you end up taking her to prom? Gr- I was the only one old enough to drink at the prom. <laughs> <laughs> with, with the teachers. Child, you, <laughs> with the teachers. So tell us about your prom experience. How so was how it? was the prom experience for you? I remember your grandmother did make a statement. Do you want to go ahead and tell us what she uh, said? Yes. Um, what she, she said? said. My grandfather actually. Granddad. So, okay, oh. so disclaimer, my grandfather only has girls in the family. Okay. He's the only guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so he, you know, he takes pride Pretty, in his He takes girls. pride in his okay. young ladies. So when he saw Lorenzo pull up in the car, and he was like, that's who you Taking my baby in that car? Because they know what you take her in that car. Oh, because no. Because you take her in that car, she going to sweat out her makeup and shit. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh my God. You just sitting there like. I was oh. like, oh, my God. <laughs> what do I do? Because uh, back then, I'm like 19, 20, 21. I had a little putt putt. A little hoopty. I had a little hoop. It, it had no AC. A to B. It had no AC. No mm-hmm. AC. No AC. No so AC. I'm like, dang, I can't take her to the prom and that. Ain't got no L. Mm-mm. And when he made that comment, it is really this. <laughs> so what you took to the prom in? I had to borrow one of my friend's <laughs> car, his yes, mother, sir. his I mother's car at that point. Yeah, and it was brand. That, oh, it was brand new. We rolled in style. We okay. rolled for back then. It was in style. That's dope. <laughs> Listen, it was 2006. It was. So it, it was good. Yes, it was. We good. had AC. We was Listen, yes. hair pops, blowing. Pops we wasn't said, hot. Put his baby in there. My sis right. makeup wasn't sweating. She was good. They don't all night. All night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my grandfather wasn't playing. Yo, he was I not. Like well, I was scared. I, I know you're not. I was really <laughs> like, so I was serious. like, oh, and he was dead serious. See, I know exactly what car it was. Excuse him. It was at Nissan. <laughs> no, like it was that. a <laughs> Nissan Sentra. A These 92 Nissan Sentra. country men need to be Sentra. raising the men today, yeah, to be it honest. It was a 92 wow. Nissan Sentra. Okay. <laughs> with no AC. <laughs> and it had a dented hood and the windows didn't roll down. You was trapping out of that? I left it. It broke down. Yeah, every day to work. And I was giving people rides home in that. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, people home in there. I was just pulling. <laughs> everybody wanted to get in, and it was a two door at that. How was everybody? Yeah. It was clown car. Pretty much. It did clown car. I'm screaming. <laughs> Pretty much was. So, being that you are the date night chef, what is some crazy things that you have experienced while doing it? Like, have you have any stories or like. Uh, I've had some very um, interesting Couples? stories. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tell I us. Was give booked, us the tea. Yes, I was booked um, out in Destin, Florida. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. I, I love I travel. Mm-hmm. Um, I was booked in Destin, Florida, mm-hmm. and it was for a family reunion. Okay. So normally I do, of course, like intimate things, but I'll also do more grander things. It's okay, absolutely. Be, um, of course. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, I was booked out there and it was a fan reunion and it was, it was some of us mm-hmm. and I like to be in the kitchen. That's my domain. I like to be by myself when I'm in the kitchen mm-hmm. so I can get everything together, prepared, but no, the kids want to sit there and sit right in my face like days like this. And watch you. And watch oh, you cook Lord. the whole time. And then here come the mama doing the same thing, looking at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so you guys want to help me cook? Or right, right, right. What's, what's going get, on? What's so I, I just thought that was so funny, but like they kept coming back in there. 
even after the person who fucked me was like, hey, leave her alone, leave right, her right, alone. Right. But they just kept coming in there. And they're like, oh, that's how you make that? Oh, I didn't know you do it like that. <laughs> so they basically trying to critique you on how to, how to cook you your food. You don't eat this food or you're not going to eat Right. This. I mean, Sit down. you done already paid for it. So right. Like, so so you gonna, uh-huh. at this point, I don't really care Pick what y'all do. <laughs> but get it from my kitchen. Right, I was about to say, get it from my kitchen. So that's one of your rules. Like one of your rules is like you like your, that's yes, your peaceful place. I like to make kids like to have music going. Either I have it on my headphones if no one else wants to be bothered okay. or I'll ask them, hey, I'm going to be playing music. Are you guys okay, I'm okay with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, music? Yeah. I'll do that. If they want, when I do more intimate things, mm-hmm. I'll conversate with the couple. Okay, okay. So okay. I'll ask them how they met and things like that, what they like to do, what okay. they're cooking, kind of make them more interactive. Make them more interactive. Is there like okay. a top request that you get from couples, like, like as far wise. as meal-wise? Like, what do you prepare the most for them? The most is surf and turf. Okay. Everybody love uh, a good steak and lobster. Duh. Ooh, that makes so much sense. Uh, <laughs> mm. Everybody love a good steak and lobster. Mm. And I love preparing them too. Okay. I'm gonna have to um, utilize you. One, one <laughs> no, weekend. seriously. Yes, seriously. I, I mean, nice. I love to do it. I, um, my dad is a chef. Oh, okay. And um, you know, when he was that. doing his right thing, he was <laughs> yeah, yeah, there yeah. for us. Yeah, and yeah. um that's where I I love seeing him in the kitchen. I love right. Seeing so him you kinda like grew on to that. He did like five star restaurants and things like that. So he did all of that. Okay. He taught okay. me how to make um Alfredo sauce from scratch. Okay. Oh, and like I know that's my, good. Yeah, that's one of my like, number specialty. one thing. Like yeah. my, my specialty is like pasta. So I make mm. um, a really good jerk chicken pasta. Oh um, oh the Cajun pasta is so good. So yeah. I, and I love to make um, stuff with, like fresh ingredients if I can. Mm-hmm. Like as far as my like uh, tomato sauces, I make okay. those from scratch. So, okay. Yeah. I'll be cooking, man. Don't play with okay. it. Okay. Don't play with it. You heard it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. No, I um yeah, I I've, I've been doing that. So yeah, that's, that's why I got dope. That my oh, I'm definitely gonna book you one weekend. Yeah, for yeah. Like, like, surf and turf, surf, surf and turf. Me. Okay, okay. Period. Oh, I make a good steak, nice and juicy. Ooh. <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is it red? Oh, you know. Yeah, the black it's and the middle, I don't want it. I don't want no, I don't want no churanga. You said no churanga? <laughs> I don't want no churanga. You don't want to shake the table? <laughs> Keep doing that. Oh, I be shaking the table when I eat my steak. It's a way to hold the knife. No, it's because I like it well done. We gon' elevate, elevate my palate. No, that's why you looked at me when I said it was red. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, nah. <laughs> He don't like the red. I, don't I the love. Red. I like. Yeah, I, I like medium. I can that's medium. blood. I don't want that. It's it's not really blood. It's a different kind of. It's a, I'm a what different. kind of blood is it? It's different. I'll tell you. Okay. It's like level three. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> it's the other blood. Okay. <laughs> it's the other blood. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's. So let's play. A, a, you watch the show. You're a fan of the show. So you yes. know we have a, a hot seat moment where oh we like to ask questions, start provoking, yeah, I was whatever. For this. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we. This is gonna be. We're gonna just give you a couple questions, and you basically say which one, like this or that, okay. almost right. Okay. So this will start easy. Um. Girl, do you prefer girlfriends or guy friends? Um, I love my guy friends. Yeah, okay. I love my girlfriends. I have like one real good girlfriend, but I love my guy Kiki, friends. Kiki, right? Yeah, Kiki. Hey, Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I love my guy friends because honestly, like guy friends keep it real, and it's yeah. easier. I would think it's, it's not like, as catty. A, yeah, we don't have no. Do you feel like you learn a lot from your guy friends? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes too much. Too much. Okay, because I'm pretty <laughs> sure they tell you everything. TMI, yeah, yeah, and it'd be like they call me about their situation. Like I don't want to know. I'm your friend, that. but I yeah. don't care about what you're doing with these girls. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and it also <laughs> kind of like I have a couple girlfriends that kind of feel like sometimes with their guy friends they tell them t- like you said too much because yeah. they be like, damn, I can't trust no no man. Yeah, right? <laughs> they tell me all of the behind the scenes. I'm like, yeah, this guy is. Oh, this is what he mean. I'm like what? Oh yeah, what well, he did? <laughs> Don't tell me all the really? Right. <laughs> likeable. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. Guess right. they don't like me. Whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> but okay. then it also makes me like conscious. With my next situation, mm, what's your next 100%. Okay, let me see. Okay, maybe I shouldn't probably do this. Cause right. This might, you know, do it like yes. Right, right, right. Because like, guys are that. wired differently in their minds. Mm, like, ooh, even, yes. I mean, all kinds, all, all guys. Kind of guys. It don't gays even matter. Too. Really? We, yeah. It don't matter what kind of guy. But it I is. feel like with the gays, with us, for me, I like to say we got best of both worlds. Like, I tap into my feminine side a lot, mm. and I also tap into the masculine side. Okay. Because I feel like, again, I'm a pro, I'm feminist down. Like, I think women could run this world. I, will, I always say that. <laughs> but um, it's the emotion part sometimes yeah. that and jacks the things them, up. Yeah, yeah. Yes. it's the emotion part that sometimes yes. they could jack it up and that, a little bit. they do help with that. Like, yeah. My friends do help me with that. Right, I have, right. I, 
definitely have to say I've changed. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, oh, no, it's all them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got both right. fingers pointing back at you. Right, right. Time to right. With facts. Them, so, yeah. Facts, facts, <laughs> facts. Oh okay, so with your guy friends and the guys that you're dating, do you prefer social media message conversations or text message conversation if you had to choose one um, because i like, think of it like in your social media there's they're looking at your pictures all the time they have yeah. access to your profile a lot text message feels like okay what? so i used to be the type of person like when i am dating like you mm-hmm. gotta post me okay like, you okay. gotta let people know that you're, that you're, that you're with, you me. with me right right, right? Mm-hmm. but nowadays it's like i don't really want nobody to know yeah you want to keep certain things like that private for sure i probably would say like text message i like that more intimate because nobody like see that i mean you know what i'm saying i'm not secretive right don't hide me don't hide me however you know from time to time maybe do a little little snippet a little story a little pop out right 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 you know right okay so then okay call first thing in the morning or a late night call which way you prefer um I'm a morning person, so probably in the morning. Yeah, I, I'm I agree. Full of energy. I work out in the morning. Every morning. Get yeah. My daughter to school. Like I'm a morning person, so talk to me in the morning. Cause throughout the day I might be busy. At night I'm gonna fall asleep. Tired. Uh, tired. Okay. I don't sleep. see that I good morning text so in the morning. I'm like, oh my god, you thought about me? What's the problem? Why I get my text? <laughs> if you don't morning? see it, <laughs> something's off. Something's, something's off. off. The day yeah. is thrown right, off. Right, right. Yeah. You, you don't like you me know. no more. About me. You know. You know. <laughs> okay so uh let's see do you rather lose sleep or skip a meal hmm? oh skip a meal i need my sleep yeah because i need to sleep skip a meal or lose sleep i'm gonna say skip a meal you rather your sleep over food over chicken I lay down you do lay down i be needing to lay down when my nerves bad i need to lay down <laughs> that's true <laughs> Bro, yeah. like, oh, lay down. <laughs> I, I will drink some water and lay down and just worry about it in the morning i've cried myself because i'm like I know you go to sleep. I know I'm hungry. But <laughs> <laughs> That's happened to me before. That's had to have so happened to all of us, child. Oh, my so God. <laughs> but I'm so tired. Let me lay down and drink this water. Later. Right. Morning, eat a so. few bags of chips. Uh, eat a little few chips and then call it a night. <laughs> yeah. I've done that. Toddler. Yeah. Top. Yeah. Childish. Very childish. <laughs> okay, so then money or love? Hmm. Hmm. Money. Okay. Money or I'm l- so sorry, y'all. I have like <laughs> no <laughs> money or love. Situation was like, ah. but no, yeah. I would say money. Okay. Only, only reason why I say money because I have a daughter. So right, I'm right. Always about you know generational wealth and okay. taking that. care. So I think it'll be money. Cause, mm-hmm. I think for me it'll be love. Aww. I want that because mm-hmm. I feel like I didn't get it a lot growing up. Mm-hmm. So now I yearn and I want it. Yeah, now. and it sounds like you have a close knit family, so yeah, yeah. that. That's probably why your option will be that too, and, it, yeah, and the same I for me. Have it. Yeah, like, I mean, I have, you grew up with it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, grew right. Up with that, so I, agree. I know what it is to have yeah. too much love. Right. <laughs> <laughs> too. As I e, I work with my people. Yeah. But, um, no, I, I. Yeah, I think it'll be money. I okay, think I fun. think love for me too, just because same scenario, but yeah. Yeah. Aww, <laughs> love you guys. Oh, love, certified you lover boys. boys. We love you too. Certified lover boys. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, sweet. so what about skill? Like yeah, oh, we know. <laughs> right. She said she likes love. So skill or popularity? Skill. Definitely skill. Skill. Definitely skill. Popular mm-hmm. one, please. You can't do too much. You with can't it. do too much with that because you everybody know you. Yeah. Everybody know everything. Now you put on facade. Now you just out there. Because when you get in front of me, you don't know what you're doing. Now you lying to the street. Now, uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> now, now, now you for the street. Now we mad and you mad. don't. You dumb. Because yeah. you play you with dumb me. as rocks. You, you played in my face. <laughs> All these people that you know what you're doing, you're going to get in front of me like, uh. Uh, great. sorry, babe. Sorry. Oh, okay. Like, well, yeah. I feel like I know the answer to this next one for you. But painful truth or com- uh, comforting lie? Painful mm. truth. Yeah. Mm. Comfort or comforting lie. lie. Or comforting lie. Give me the painful truth. Because I already know if you lie to me, I will never look at you the same again. No. Yeah. I'm going to find out. Yeah, you're going to find and out. And I'm going to find out. out. And when I find out, it's not going to be gonna be a different problem. Now I'm going to have to have the... <laughs> now, now I'm angry. Now you going to be... No, she said, now I'm angry. Right. So, my angry so okay, will we consider... Um, Someone omitting details as a comforting lie, essentially. Like, so let's say Shorty, your Shorty, your man, um, went out and he saw his ex there and they chopped it up. But he tells you 
Yeah, I had a fun night out with the guys. And then tell me. Tell and me he just omitted ex. the fact that he chopped it up with his ex at that night. But then you end up finding out. So Ooh. is that a lie? That's definitely a lie. You think it's a lie? No, it's not a lie. How that's not a lie when he told you he was going out with his boys, but he just said he had a good night, and that included his good night. The girls, his ex, Talking yeah, his, his ex, ex was ex. there. What did they do? They just chopped. They it just up. chopped. Oh, it up. didn't know. Okay. Yeah. Did they go to the room? Was any anything fellatio nah, involved? <laughs> it's a whole but no, I think they're just talking. Is okay, okay, if they just chopped it up, then no. Okay, but now if they did anything else, but if it, but it my thing is, shit. would that be considered a lie? To, so we say no to that. You wouldn't consider that a lie if they omitted that part. That no. You know. So do you feel like you could trust them if they omit that part? Let me ask that question. If they brought it to my attention, if they omit it, they didn't bring it. If up. they didn't bring it to my attention, I'm gonna. Uh. Uh-uh. Would you start questioning? Yes. Trust. I would. What about you? Because why didn't you tell me? Because now it's like you hiding something. What you hiding? Wow. Um, okay. Uh, right. <laughs> I think that, yes, not telling me, and then I find out. Kind of shady. Yeah. It's shady. Like, it you should be. tell me, like, at least let me know, hey, this is. Even if it's come, like, the next, oh, babe, I forgot. By the way, let I me did tell see you. my ex boom, boom, yeah. Boom. It up. 24, like, yeah, yeah, 24 hours day. even, yeah. yeah. Bring right. it to my like attention. Somebody will say, oh, I saw your man talking to, talking to such and such. Right. And then the right. So, what y'all right. was talking about, because at that point, my mind, as an overthinker, it's going to be yeah, like, it's like, oh, well, what y'all talking about? <laughs> Did y'all exchange numbers what again? Was yeah, what was the conversation? You you her <clears throat> Did those feelings come back that you had? Did you want to text? Did you want to touch her? Her now, like I need to know. Where she live at? <laughs> where she live? Right. Now where we, she live at? Now we pulling up. <laughs> now we got to pull up because <laughs> I got to I gotta clear y'all my piece. Who I am. Yeah, I'm yeah. with y'all. Yeah. With me. Please don't. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, you what you a Libra? Yes, I am. A Libra. When, when was your but birthday? It just passed. October 4th. Oh, October 4th. happy belated birthday. That's my aunt's birthday. Yes. Yes. Happy belated. Birthday. My aunt's birthday is the same day. Yeah. Your aunt I think. Must be sweet. She is. She dope or whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I think Ashanti's <laughs> birthday is that day too. Isn't it? I think no, so. But oh. it is in October. It's in October. Yeah, okay. October too. It's full okay. of Cardi B. Oh, Cardi B's the fourth? No. She's oh. in October. Okay. Yeah, I know she's a couple like of the 12th fish. One of those yeah. days. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the last this or that, which one? We'll end it on a fun note. Okay. Krishan Rock Ooh. or Jaden? Jaden Alexis? Yeah. I actually just found out who she was yesterday. Krishan. Yeah. Cr- I'm going to go with Krishan. Just Me too. Jaden is like yeah. her face is like stuck in the... No, um, I was looking at <laughs> like one of them bowls. Bowl. Yes, it's like really I'm rolling, screaming. but her body is small. <laughs> like her, it's like... Oh, I'm here. You don't like that. Her, 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 her face fish, being and her body like small. Yeah. Seen, like her actual body, I'm like, wow. It don't look nice. Face, lips, hips. I think that she say that. In that her song. is her song. Or yeah, like that. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> is that the Barbie doll song? Yeah, the Barbie song. And then uh, like like Barbie. Barbie. She's cute. I saw her yesterday. I actually was. I like the interview the was playing while I was working yesterday. I'm like, who is that? It was Blueface and Jaden. And I'm with, like, oh, um, I said, oh, with John, Jason, Jason Lee. Lee. Okay. I was like, oh, that's what she looks like. That interview. Who? Who fake? Jason Lee. Blueface. Oh. oh. <laughs> Damn. Now, something's wrong with him. <laughs> Speaking of that, men he, like that. He's crazy. He's very toxic. Like, and these women toxic. love that. And they love, they that. love that. I mean, when I say they As a like, woman, love that. They love and it. They Krishan, love Krishan be like, why are you mad at me? Why is he mad at you? Who cares? Jaden said yesterday that she walked in, in the house on Krishan giving Blueface fellatio. The other day? This is oh, so. Well, I was just like, so now, so maybe I was like, what? Girlfriend. That's their girlfriend. I'm screaming. <laughs> that's it, <they>, right? <laughs> <they're girlfriend. laughs> I was like, is they going back to that? Like, Listen. yeah. Well, but yeah, yeah I couldn't be me. I, maybe that's the young love that they got yeah, going on. Because they're I young, cannot do it. There's no way they're I like 23, yeah. 24 I'm years old. But I was crazy like that. But there was no way I could do that now. Yeah, I remember the craziness. I remember the craziness. Yeah. We, won't, we won't. We won't. We won't. Yeah, we won't indulge. We won't in indulge in that. <laughs> We've all a had a past. Now. Adult now? Yeah, <laughs> we'll take it back kill. to the. We'll take it back to the, the Gainesville days. Oh, wow! <laughs> Gainesville. <laughs> That's how far <laughs> we go back. Yeah. So okay, 
I know y'all been see. I don't know if y'all been seeing this, but um, Saucy Santana and DJ Academics. I think oh my his gosh. name is DJ. Need to shut up. But yes, I have seen it. Okay, I did see Saucy go. Do y'all know that drama? Like, what's going on? Apparently, DJ Academics is calling out Carisha for what? For you know, just how she uses certain language, like that attack. That's kind of opposing the gay community, I believe. What so, kind of language, though? Like the f word. And stuff mm. like that. So Saucy and him are sparring right now because uh, Saucy's representing, you know, his bestie Carisha. Mm-hmm. Like, no, she say whatever she would have say. Like, quite frankly, you're the type of man that acts like that mm-hmm. term that she's saying. So they're going back and forth. Twitter is all in going crazy because Saucy Santana is like, you, I'll beat your behind, and then. F you in the behind. Ooh. So people are like, well, well. So isn't that <laughs> rape? So then that they're turning oh like that was something. It's a lot. Going yeah, it's on. turned into like a whole big thing. Um, <laughs> do you think DJ Academics has a point for what he's saying? I feel like DJ Academics need to stay in his lane and mind his business. Because he's always talking about, he's always 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 talking about in females. somebody's business. He's always going back and forth with a female. Oh. Hey. Just mind your damn business. No, I didn't see what Carisha said. Okay. Me either. I like, didn't see that. Did I, see, I only saw like snippets of what, what Academics Santana. said, but mm-hmm. I did see Santana. I saw Santana's screen. response. Yeah. I did see that, but I don't know what Academics said. I don't and know what Carisha like, said. So Miami and she's um, just a she's a Miami girl. She yeah. is a really Miami girl, and I mm-hmm. feel like she doesn't have any malice when it comes to what she says. I just think that's just how they was taught down there. Is it responsible though with a platform like? With resp- hers. I would say no. You should you, pick your words I see lightly. What you're yeah, but for somebody who's like from the hood, mm-hmm. that's how they speak. The hood, that's just how they speak. Mm-hmm. So you can have coaches upon coaches to tell mm-hmm. you, no, this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, right. right. But, but that's Carisha in you. That's Miami. in you. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of like people from the hood. They say punks. That's what they say. They say p o n k s punks. Yeah. But they're not saying it. It's. Like I think it's. Way. Uh, I yeah. think it's. How you say it to the person and yeah. your your level yeah, of your you know friendship with that person, it, or whatever. like yeah. if it was like me and you and I say, you know what, well, you had like a punk, mm-hmm. then I'm, we good like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But if it's like some random person that's walking up to you, oh, you a punk? I think it's different. Don't fight mm-hmm. words. Don't fight, Don't words. fight <laughs> words. Yeah. But if it's Carisha and Santana or Carisha and a friend that she has that's gay and she's saying, you you know what, you had like a punk. Mm-hmm. I don't see that wrong with that. I feel like they have that relationship. They have that bond. They know. Yeah, like they, said, who right. You who are you to? talking yeah. to? Yeah. The it depends of it, on yeah. okay the nature of it. Yes. And DJ academics, like y'all said, is kind of button in their situation. It feels like he needs to be an advocate for this gay community and whatever, whatever. But still, at the same time, attacks Saucy Santana and says, "Listen, you are." He used yeah, Jamaican slurs like, against him, and then he's like, um, <laughs> "You have a mental illness." First of all, that's what he says because who. DJ Academics he says Santana so saucy one? because yeah he if he looks in the mirror I mean he's looking at his mental illness because he doesn't know like what he want to give because he got a beard he got the makeup he got <coughs> see you I know, told you I didn't it just got it got messy <laughs> it got real messy but these are conversations that like they're happening out there and I don't know what corn but, the reason why I asked is because I want to know like what y'all mindset yeah. are in, as it pertains to that and do y'all see it as innocent fun do y'all see it as like I see it as, I wouldn't say innocent. I would say I don't. Is it innocent? No, it's like it's. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> I just feel like it's the relationship you have with that person. Yeah. Like it just depends on that relationship with that person and y'all mm-hmm. level of comfortability. Yeah. Like if that's just like me and you, or that's like it's like her coming to me and I know her damn near twenty years and she be like, you act like a punk. I wouldn't be offended in that because mm-hmm. we have that level of comfortability to, yeah. to speak like that. You know what and I'm she's saying? Also, and but she's she, also a person that probably won't even use the term with you. Right. She's yeah. just kind of like. Because she won't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if she was playing and we was kicking, you wouldn't be I wouldn't by be it. offended by right. it. Right. But if I ain't know if her. If you're using it to try to. Use it, and you um, use it in a heated <laughs> argument. <laughs> and use it in a heated argument. Is that the same as, like, the N word? Basically. Yeah, it can be. I mean, the N word. You know, already has its own what, history. I'm talking about yeah. the ER, but yeah, <laughs> not, not the GA, ER. the ER. Shoot, even when some of us say the ER, I'm like, okay, who? Are you <laughs> <doing>? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Right, <laughs> come right. on, right. A right. GA, right. GA, right. <laughs> but yeah, I just think that you know, um, 
Yeah, it depends on who you're talking to. That's why I yeah. feel. Okay. But then also, the times that we're in. It's sensitive. Just like don't a, say it. Yeah, it's like yeah. Just just consider just this people's it. feelings are real. It. They get don't hurt. Don't let nobody yeah. hear it. Just you know. But then it's like, do we let other people call us the ER when yeah. we're not? You know what I'm saying? So it's like like because I know I saw a video of Carisha saying something to Santana. And she was like, "You had like a punk. Are you a punk? Or oh, that punk ain't want you?" And I'm just like, I didn't see nothing wrong with that because mm. she's a Miami girl. That's how they talk. That's how they talk. What about you? A hood girl. What about me? What I think about it? Yeah. Well, I don't know, cause I, as you mature, you you know when you like you said we when you matured, mm-hmm. you you grew up, you have a past, whatever. I just feel like when you as you grow up, you see certain things as like you don't need to say it, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like you just kind of like okay, I get it. It might be offensive to somebody else, so like I probably wouldn't even say yeah. it. So that's my thing. Is it's like when you uh, the judge is to say not to say that she's further along in her maturation process, but for me, I'm just sitting there looking at like maybe she could not. She could. Yeah. Should she just? Yeah. We can leave that out. Like I get it. It's your friend, but like you said, say it out a long time. Like yeah. you said, these times that we're in, do you, do you record it? She has a platform. Yeah, she does. She, she does have a, a very good one at that. Realize that too. That's the part. and she has a big gay fan base. A big, huge. We love her music. We love her music. So that's just my take on that part. The part with Saucy Santana um, sparring with this one, like, <laughs> like I get it, I get it. Do do your big oh, one, but like I wouldn't even pay him no mind. Honestly, I pay him dust. But I get being offended and, and having yeah. your feelings hurt. So speak up for yourself as well. But yeah. I don't take it to the streets with his behind. No, he want that. It, no, don't give him more attention. Exactly, child. But, but like you said, they from the hood, child. So they <laughs> they, they, the they do get out in the hood. They, yeah, in the hood, that's how they be. <laughs> in Miami, they right? Don't listen. play. I love my he Miami said, meet people. me in the streets. I ain't coming to your headquarters. Listen, corporate A N. I saw that. <laughs> Halloween party, pull up. Pull up. <laughs> I'm <laughs> screaming. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. With them nails. Right, right. right. <laughs> yes. I, I love like, me some saucy. I, I like saucy. saucy. I love so but like, he's not from Miami, is he? He from Jacksonville. No, he from what? Tallahassee? I don't know. I thought he was. I don't or know. lived there for. He probably did live there. Maybe not originally from there. But, okay. We'll find it out. Yeah, we're we going to find <laughs> out. <laughs> we, right, right, we we'll find do out. some research. <laughs> but now, nah, it was a dope conversation. Thank you for yes, coming. Thank you for coming by. by. Today. Peach Cobbler ate. And I'm going to eat the rest. Seconds and thirds. I'm going to eat that up there, Listen, I'm go. I was trying to eat that last piece, but I was like, let me put it over here because I'm doing too much. You trying to eat my last piece? No, my last piece. Oh, I had okay. another piece. There's a whole other side over there. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> coming you back. Don't fight over it. Coming back home with me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, let's start. But, anyways, oh, thank you, Shell, for coming. Yeah, we've been, so th- we been wanting to do this for a minute, so I'm happy that we finally got yes, you to come on. I'm so um, glad. We do want to probably invite you back real soon Yay. on like a holiday cuisine, another one, whatever it is. I'll make some um, pasta next time. Ooh, yes, yes, the jerk chicken pasta. one. Pasta. Uh-huh. Pasta. <laughs> pasta. Pasta. <laughs> yes, 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 because oh, we need to get you booked, honey. Oh, yes. Oh, that See. too. See, she's full yeah, in the egg rolls. She ain't playing. What are the, What are in the egg rolls? Can we just talk about it before we leave? Yes, yeah, the egg rolls. Yes. So I make different kinds. So okay. Like the buffalo chicken. Oh. I make the Philly cheese steak oh. ones. I also make vegan ones. Uh uh-uh. uh For my meal preps, I do. Okay. Uh, vegan egg rolls. You had me sold with the buffalo chicken <laughs> and the, the Philly the cheese steak. one is so I know that's good. It's yeah. so oh, good. Oh I've had some cheese, some egg rolls that I did not like at all, and I was just like, forget it. I'll make my you own. Make your own. Yeah. And there we. Have it, yeah, yeah. The nice date night chef, yeah. period. Yeah. Book her. All her information will be in our description for the video, and it'll also be yeah at the right bottom here, <laughs> right down there. <laughs> um, we love you, Brown Row fam. We will be back with a new episode yes. soon. We're coming up on our anniversary episode yes. later this month. One year. Yes. It's gonna be a year. One yes. year that quick. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> we should have some kind of party. We don't know what we're doing yet. So we'll we, figure it out. It's still in the works. We're still but in we the love works. y'all. Peace and love. Peace and, and love. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video if you like it. Check us out on Instagram at the Brown Bros Podcast. PC. Yeah. PC. PC. Yeah. Peace See you love. later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>